Hi, this is Dr. Martin, and in this video, I'll talk about the anatomy and physiology of the rectum. Rectum is the last part, as I'm showing you, rectum is the last portion of the large intestine. It connects the sigmoid colon to the, the uh, anal canal here. Rectum begins in the sacral second to third vertebral level and ends uh, in the perineal level. And it's about the 12 to 16 centimeter long, maybe divided to three portions, three parts, superior, middle, and inferior rectum. Has two flexures, sacral flexure, and it's dorsally, and ventrally has the perineal flexure. Let's talk about the feature of the, uh, the rectum. And as all GI tract uh, wall, we have four layers, and we have mucosa, inner layer, mucosa. We have the submucosa underlining, and we, uh, but doesn't show in this model. We have the muscularis layer, this red color coded. And at the end, we have the adventitia connective tissue layer. And when we look, there is some muscles here. Let's talk about this muscle. This muscle we call levator ani, levator ani muscle. And, and here we have another muscle, circular uh, muscle, we will call internal. There's another circular muscle, and here external anal sphincter. They form the internal and external anal sphincter. Internal anal sphincter is not our uh, cautious control in adult, uh, but external anal sphincter is under our ca conscious control, so we can control to when decide when to defecate. What else? Let me see. Here we see the venous plexus just in the submucosal layer, under the mucosa, uh, in the submucosal layer. When we look the uh, rectum uh, uh, mucosa, Rectum mucosa has uh, epithelial layer and the lamina propria. An epithelial layer in rectum is simple columnar epithelium, like the, uh, the other part, most part of the digestive system. Uh, uh, but when we come to the anal canal, anal canal, which it's formed when the rectum ends, when the rectum ends, an anal canal start. Notice I'm not saying anus, I'm saying anal canal, because only this opening called anus, this called anal canal. Uh, okay, you can see there the, the, the levator ani starts just right above the uh, sphincter muscles, we will call rectum, and just below we will call anal canal until the opening, which opening is we call anus. Okay, we said the simple columnar epithelium found in the uh, rectum, but when we come to anal canal, it's different. It's non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium because you need more protection, right? No protection, there's more trauma here. Um, here, there's a line, as you see, we call this pectineal or dental line. You can see the crypts here. Okay, now let's talk about some pathology. And you see the inflammation here, it's like a, a resembling the ulcerative colitis. You see the polyps here, and, uh, and, and you can see the polyps again here. And this is pedunculated because there's pedunculum. This is sessile polyp. But when it becomes the cancer, and then colon cancer, or rectal cancer, sorry, and you can see the how circularly narrow the lumen of the, the rectum. And you have here some abscess, right? You have here, again, abscess. You see, if the abscess opens the inside of the body, although it's open to the rectum, almost in a canal, then we will call internal fissure. If it opens the outside, we will call the external fissure. And here, you see it's different, it's like a cauliflower-like structure, that is condyloma acuminatum. And you can see the skin fold here. But what I want to show you here, since we have a very uh, uh, developed venous, venous uh, plex, plex, uh, plexus here, and you can see the enlargement. We call this hemorrhoids. That's the medical terminology for uh, hem uh, uh, hemorrhoids for the enlarged blood vessels, especially the ve veins. And 
if this uh, uh, hemorrhoids originate above the pectinal or dentate ligament, dental line, we will call internal hemorrhoid. If it is below, then we will call external hemorrhoid. And you can see the diverticulum and it's the mucosa is uh, ballooning because of the weakness of the muscularis layer. And you can see the fat tissue, how it's covered. Have a good day.